everybody. Uh, I'm going to keep this short because I'm telling you about a video that would be good for everybody to watch so they have further information and knowledge about what is going on, especially for those who are not sure what it is or about the venom or, you know, the mandated stuff they want you to take. Uh, this particular video came across my feed and, or my email uh, and it's called Immortality, Glowing Veins, and the Polio Outbreak. Now, she says it's a pretty long video. It's two hours and ten minutes. If you go halfway, go if you don't want to listen to it all, she said at least go to the halfway mark and listen to the part about the polio out outbreak. It was pretty much like it is now. And they came up with the polio vaccine. At first it was an injection. And then later they came up with the... Uh, and I'm just telling you this from my memory. I haven't listened to this whole video yet. I did not skip ahead. I was, I thought, I'm just going to go ahead and stop. Put up a little, you know, notice about it. And let y'all decide if you want to watch it. Because I feel it's worth sharing. She published it November 17th. Yesterday. Cause, let's see. today. Oh, I'm sorry. Today is the 19th. It's 10.36 a.m. This was put up on the 17th of November, 2021. The channel is Extreme Reality Check. She's really good. She's, uh, uh, I've shared other stuff of hers and watched other stuff of hers. Um, she's talking about how, um, she said something about Oprah Winfrey, and I was kind of distracted for a moment there, and I think she's saying Oprah Winfrey's related to this Henrietta Lack, who had this fast-growing cancer, and they took her cancer cells. Okay, I don't want to tell it wrong, but I'm just going to tell you my little testimony. When I was uh, six years old, I had to get my polio shot. When I was seven, I had cancer. It took two surgeries the first year and the third year the next year. When I was eight, I had a third surgery because it was growing back. Praise the Lord. Even though I was Catholic, they had the whole church and then the whole archdiocese praying for me. And when I received my first conf my confirmation in the fourth grade, they have a bishop there for that because you, you pick another name. And so you have three names. So then I became Jeannie Louise. Yeah, that was my middle name. That's my middle name. I chose the name Francis from St. Francis of Cabrini. You have to pick a name from a saint. So then I became Jeannie Louise Francis Hardesty. Anyway, when I was coming down off the stage of the church, that bishop was standing there saying, shook my hand. It's kind of like a graduation. And he leaned in and he said, You're our miracle child. You know that, don't you? And I looked at him because I didn't know I had cancer. My mom never told me until I was 16. And I looked at him and I was like, Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what in the world he meant. <laughs> I went on back to my seat. Oh, well, anyway, um, about a million people got the same thing. So <clears throat> that was the polio vaccine. And... um I shouldn't probably say anything about that. But anyway, I pray this stays up anyway and that you get a chance to look at it. It'll stay up on BitChute. That's for sure. It's going up in both platforms. So if YouTube takes it down and I'm off for a week, I'm sorry. But I feel it's important that everybody listen to this, at least the half that she spoke about. Listen to the first part. And then if you don't think I can't give two hours to this, I already know all this, skip ahead to the part she spoke about okay that I just told you my little testimony about the reason being people need to understand what they have been doing all along with this so-called jab program okay I gotta watch what I say so I hope that you will take a listen and uh, share this as you can if you have a Facebook page I don't know if they'll allow it maybe they will uh, because I didn't tell anybody not to take the you-know-what. I'm not telling anybody to not take the you-know-what. It's up to them if they want to take snake venom, right? It's everybody's personal choice. But they need to know the facts behind it. 
with that I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video because it is so 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 important for salvation that people not take the snake venom I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us our devices and our internet connections with that I'm going to say yep we're still here we keep looking up until our redemption which is drawing nigh does come okay with that i'll say bye for now y'all talk to you later